Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'll be showing you a video on how to get Hotspot mod on your Galaxy S4 for free, by the way. And um, so you can tether your data. And also uh, note that make sure you have unlimited data plan or you are aware that this is not going to avoid your normal data plan. So that does not mean you will get unlimited. So if you are in sprint like me yes you have unlimited data so you will be able to do this seamlessly which is just great so I'll have this link in the description it is the XDA developers page forum so uh, after you click on the website it's gonna be in the description you wanna download this download MDL odext file well depending on your phone if you go to settings about phone most likely it's MDC like mine so just click on that download it after you have downloaded it you wanna also have about anywhere above a gigabyte of a micro SD or SD card well a micro SD card so that it is so that it can go into your phone so after you have done that you wanna create a folder inside that SD card naming it um, whatever you want and then inside that folder you want to um, you want to have these two files that I'll be showing you as you can see I have the MDC download Alright guys, we're back on the S4 after you have inserted the S micro SD card slot into the phone, which I've already done. Uh, you will need to download the app called S Manager or Script Manager. After you have downloaded that, you will need to open it up. Also, of course, your phone has to be rooted. It will ask for the root access. I've already done this before, so I've already agreed to it. So now you will need to go all the way a all the way up and then as you can see you will scroll down to storage right there then external SD card I named my folder Wi-Fi dude whatever you named your folder it should be shown right here somewhere so as you can see it's right there uh, I've already done this before so it doesn't show it but it should show both of your files the service.odex or odin I forgot what it's called um, just tap and hold and then it'll say multi select click on that multi select both of those click on copy then after you have copied them go all the way back up then you will need to go into system then tap and hold in framework then it should say paste paste them actually wait wait sorry about that do not paste them yet F paste them right after you have renamed the default files which can be found under the s sir services Oh wait. As you can see services.odex, that's the original file. Or no, that's not the original file. This one is the original file. Cause you have to rename the originals. Service.odex.back. You can you can um, rename them anything, but I would recommend um, renaming them dot jar dot back. So it's a backup file. All you have to rename them, just tap and hold, then rename so rename those to dot back after that then you can tap and hold tap on paste and you are done exit out of all your apps then you want to give it a good restart I'm not going to do that because I've already done it after you have restarted it you are ready to go um, 
all you have to do is, uh, oh, sorry. Now you just turn on your hotspot. Um, turn it on. Or actually, you can configure it to say whatever you want. Let's just call it Wi Fi, free, no password, or security. Turning it on, pretty easy. And as you can see, it's hotspot activated. If you've tried to do this before, it sh you know that it comes up with an uh, error box where it says your data may not, your data plan may not allow you to enable hotspot. But as you can see, it's on. It says hotspot activated. I've tried this before on my computer and my laptop and my tablet. It works fantastically, especially since I'm on Sprint. I have unlimited data. Really useful. So as you can see, this is pretty easy. If you need any more video or any more help with the Galaxy S4, please leave a comment down below. I'll get to it as soon as possible. So please comment, read, subscribe. Hope this helped. Peace.